looking for the kick. He asked for it, and that's a good shot right there. What an ascension in his career in the last six years. He's got six wins since the 2013-14 season, including the PGA in August, and look at that shot. Off club uphill here. Effortless motion, and that's a really good shot. Underneath the hole is Adam. Shot he hit in the first there. Wow, incredible. Six iron here. Not a very big one either. There's a long stare at it. Center of the green. For Dustin Johnson, this has got to be a pretty well hit six iron. Not a good hole location for him being on the right, and he's lost this right. Just a little. Yeah, lands in the bunker, Roger. To the second. This is a beautiful sight, as always. Adam Scott's golf swing. Oh, butter. Hey, you might be able to swing like that, Steve, but you can copy his rhythm. Man. Yeah. Paul. Has credited John for a lot of his success getting it back in gear. New cat. From McElroy here, same club that Casey played. I'll definitely try to bring this ball in a little bit from right to left. And Steve, I think you'll see a majority of the tee shots today here at the right. second past that hole where the bunkers are not in play. See the trees blowing, there's not much going on as far as the wind is. You can tell there. Really? Get right somehow. Right. Said he hit the ball terribly yesterday. Still managed the 200 par 68. Go hard. Heard him say go hard, and that's why. Tumbles into the bunker. Puts clubs club in a lot of good positions during the course of that swing. 21 years old. Steve, who's your rookie of the year? Oh, I would say it's him now that he. Just right of the hole. Should work a little left. No, just yeah. landed dead. Problems with distance control here can be with that. This is launched way up into the air. That one should settle down just a little bit. That miss on the first, a little uncharacteristic. And this one's out to the right. It's trying to work back though. And lands safely on the green. 10 yards to that one uphill. <laughs> well, he's aimed at that, but it's turning left of it. Yeah, maybe not so fun. Not as much fun as we thought. With driver in hand. Yeah, this is going just a shade left as well. This may go through the fairway on that line. Yeah, he tugged it also, Roger. He's in the rough. Four! Yeah, me too. Four! Hit it left. Well. T here at 11. Now, a live look at Dustin Johnson at seven under separation. In in chapel and then three back. To Kisner, who's in second. Beautiful. Another one. Trade. We'll see which way he's going to take to this green. Frank. Trying to play his little droll, but it's hanging out the ride. Kevin. Yeah, there's that little fade. Can get to the front. Ooh, more than does that. Yeah, that's a fast pop, though. Yeah, but you're not going to flirt. Or you don't really want to. I know DJ did, but you know, that's where the front flags here. Very, very difficult. There, see Wu Kim all by himself on the T at the par three. Set it up open uh -oh. I was trying to cut it towards the flag. Got half of it right. Side. Huh. Toward the center of the green. Only one ball in the water yesterday, six today. Yeah, six. Uh. 
sends a six iron, lost this right the whole way. Now in Chapel. His iron play has been fairly solid. Starts this at the middle of the green, trying to work back toward the hole. Should be nice. A very efficient golf swing. It's playoff 18, so we'll go there. Here you go. First up, the two, Kisner. Good ball. Yeah, good swing there, Kis. This was interesting yesterday, Terry. You see that downslide that kicks down. It's actually 360 yards to run out on this fairway. But he backed off a little bit on it. Today, he does not have the driver. He can still certainly get home if he can catch that downslide. We'll get home with an iron. Not this way. Oh, that nut nestles down by one. Chapel on the tee. What a oh, good you. move on this yeah. one. Great Thank you. With, with action, it generates a lot of speed. You say the run out is? Three six. That pause. Get him right! Good ball, Hideki. Oh, Bad ball. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got a few fans out here. Yeah. <laughs> Did not catch that downslope, though, without making a change. Oh, yeah. Good swing. 184 uphill, 7 iron here. Hole cut sort of frontish right. Sets up well for his cut, but this is pulled and drawing toward the left bunker. Yeah. Falls right into it, Roger. Hit very high. Left of the hole. And just about hole high. Bunker up the left side. That's a good target. Just uh, peel it off that a little bit. And looks like he may have overdone it, Johnny. There's a tree there he yeah, got by. He got by that, but I think he's found that fairway bunker. Not playing too hard because no wind hardly at all. So just a hot, humid day. A little right. Not oh. his best shot, but it's better to miss it there, there. 200 yards. And this is a seven iron, John. It's a big seven. Boy, yeah, it is, even though it plays downhill slightly. Yeah, if that short swing, you wouldn't think you could create that much speed and not much time. To... Well, the comfort level has always been there with Dustin Habit, his brother, on the bag. This is a towering seven iron shot. Boy, it's right on line. Oh, perfect spot to putt from Dustin. Take an aim at the long 15th. Playing a draw. Imagine what this hole would be like today I was, with a 25 mile an hour wind. Just thinking about that. I mean, seriously, <laughs> this thing was blowing. 231 yards, you better hit a good one here. Just so hard, such an intimidating shot. He's found that furrow, this is a huge five iron. He's hoping it gets right. Now he's not in the walk by Chapel and Johnson to this green. And both players on a back left toe location are trying to pay, play a little baby draw, and they both do it about a three foot draw. Perfectly surge of adrenaline right here. Good ball, Chad. Good ball. Looks like it's right center, right side of the fairway. Yes, is it going to be okay? Nope. Well, sitting up pretty good. So you can hit a bomber down there. That looks good. Right, like I said, that oh, looks wow. real good. And it, it's down there so far that even though it's in the... Even more impressive. Out to the second, Steve. Vin Scully, a living legend. Nice reference there, Frank. So is this man in this sport, Phil Mickelson. Well, Steve, that was a six iron for Mickelson. That is a long six iron at 200 and three, Steve. J.B. Holmes now. Man, you 
seen some good shots so far. Here at two, this is Kevin Kisner. Swinging it right to left, but looks like it's too much. Yeah. Oh. That's going to nestle down into that. It's the height we just saw from Kevin Kisner. Yeah. Playing from that side of the tee, looks like he's going to sling it in there as well. Okay. Safely on the green. It's been the rotation for the FedEx Cup playoffs. He won the FedEx Cup. But it wasn't to be this year, and he's a little short and wide, just like Billy. Very good 2016 campaign. You'll be hearing a lot from him in years to come. That's a much better line than Brands. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Not quite sure you want to be left of the flag. It was just outside the top five to the second. Patrick Reed. There's that right to left ball flight nota. Yeah, trying to get it back to that whole location. Tough to get all the way back there. Not sure if that made it. Par threes this week, Frank. Any reason for that? Just because they're difficult or because of the way he's playing? Yeah, obviously the way he's playing, Steve. Remember that Jason Day out 29th in the field is lost. And Frank, I did talk to Jordan a couple nights ago. Just said he was having a hard time oh. finding the right point in his swing. At two, the elegant Aussie. Bringing it in right to left. Come on. Tenth appearance here at East Lake. Or at, oh, that is a beauty, as Stevie Williams just said. The second, Bubba Watson. Let's see if he can have a big day here at East Lake. Low peeling cup. Does it skip? No. And Gary Koch is out at the second. Par three, 200. And five yards today. That's Casey with a six iron trying to play a low draw to the back left hole location. Oh, and he has done it nicely. So, Paul Casey. Uh, Second. And McElroy on the tee, aiming well right, trying to play a draw with a six iron. Doesn't look like it's drawn enough. It's out to the right. We'll find and more with a five iron. Trying to get it to turn a little more safely into the center of the green. This has been the most difficult. Three years uh, in the name of the FedEx Cup champion, we're going to donate a uh, million dollars to St. Jude's Children Hospital. I mean, that's a, a charity that's near and dear to our heart. It's been wonderful, and uh, we're going to continue to do that. So we feel good about that. That he's been hitting, moving the ball left to right. Kevin Chappell just hit six iron, and Dustin's gone to five iron, and he is trying to fashion that cut. It's just right of the hole. Good looking shot from here. Yeah, safely up into the center of the green. And it takes it up the left side at the bunkers, cutting it right of him. This is just bombed. Yeah, that just had the sound that of a perfect bomb. flush hit, didn't it, Raj? That was absolutely that cut like Jack Nichols, Ben Hogan, a lot of the great and Trevino, a lot of the great, great players hit a cut. This starts up right of center. This should be all right. No offense to Kevin, but that just didn't have quite the mistake free golf. Seems like it's going to get it done today. Over at 11. Paul Casey taking aim, 205 yard par three. Man, that is straight, isn't it, folks? I mean, that is a line, but the wrong club. I mean, it was going right at it. Everything looked good. Should work its way back. Started on that line, wind has it, pushing it a little bit left. Oh. He needed it to get up. It's a Good top, towering shot right at the hole. Apple was looking at it like he doesn't like it. He wasn't thrilled with it. The club was back on his back as if he outplayed him. He sure has. Six iron here. Shot to place downhill into a puff of wind. Looks and pretty this, good. Yeah, this is on the left side of the green, John. That should feed right some, shouldn't it, off that slope? Just a little no. bit. A really high left of the hole. Center of the green. Nice shot. Uh, just pretty good. Yeah. Okay. 
It's not where you want a putt to left and breeze, maybe blowing like three or four, five miles an hour. Only one ball in the water, that's by Schwartzel. This can make or break you right here, this hole. And it's Listen. on the make, more than the break. A uh, towering shot by McElroy is just about a hole high. It's gonna save us a flank. See a couple of pulls the last two holes. Starts this at the center of the green. It's gonna have to work to catch a piece. Another pull. He's starting to leak a little. Part of the first three days. He could use a birdie right now or better. He's kind of showing some body English as that one is headed left into the thick rough, but sitting up. Wow. PGA Tour this year with his distance and uh, able to make the fours and threes on the five. He's two back. Yeah. And that one's headed right, as you can see. He tried to hit it too hard. And that ball should bounce off the hill, but I know that, and they're not acting. Dustin doesn't make bogey as he makes bogey or better, as we watch him hit his tee shot there at the 18th. He would win the FedEx Cup by four points over Ryan Moore if Ryan wins, by 20 points over Kevin Chappell if Kevin goes on to win the Tour Championship. Fall back into a tie at the top. He's in a good one. He starts up the left side, turning a little bit. I this is good or not? Um, I don't think so. I think it's in the primary cut. I thought it was going to be good, but... Same line almost as and put it in the fairway. Got a good chance for birdie. And it starts up the center, but it's drawing, and this is close. I think it's going to be too far left. It is just a hair, Roger. By the way, we have a report that just in front of him. He hit it right, out of, out of, you know, in regulation. Well, that could be uh, he's trying to cut it across the corner on the left-hand side, see if he can carry it far enough on that line. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be real close, and it's fantastic. It's really that is huge, and it's sitting up. So what an advantage. Again, had the spectator pick his ball up. There's Chapel in the red heading way left. I mean, Rory's drive was a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. Just turn a little right to left. Yeah, this looks to me like this could be okay on that line. It's close. And it's caught up in the rough, Raj, on the left. Caught up again. Could he possibly drive it in the same place again? 357 in a perfect spot. We'll see. Yeah, this is a line further left. I don't know on that line if he can get it to the fairway. I would doubt it. Oh, looked like it hit a spectator. Spectator again. That was not good for the spectator, not good for Roy. It's a little right in the hole. It's okay, it's up. Oh man, that that's it's dropped. Another six iron here. A little more club than earlier. Yeah. Well, the sun's going down. Paul goes a little shorter. This is the left of the hole to center of the green. Looks deep from here. It is, Raj. That's interesting that he would.